the Oscar goes to... The Shape of Water. And just like that, Rusty went five for five on his Oscar Hey-o. predictions. It's nice of you to invite us to mention that today, mm-hmm. Rusty. We, Matt went 0 for 5. Well, and I think he owes me like a yeah. million Funny dollars. That he's not here right now. Yeah. Matt may have picked things uh, just to make this segment a little more enjoyable. All right, or right. he's a terrible predictor. We're not sure. <laughs> I'm going over to his house. Look, right I, we're I think all of us, if we had to make a prediction, we're betting on Oprah. Mm-hmm. You gotta always bet on Oprah, right? Her wrinkle in time. Do we think it will have a smooth ride at the well, box office? Here's the funny thing. Even Disney's gonna be the winner because it's Black Panther, Disney, right. against Sprinkle of Time, Disney. Mm. So Disney's gonna be the big yep. winner. Did you read the book? No. Familiar no. with it? All right, so here's the thing. A, a young girl's astrophysicist father, something my children never had to say, goes missing. Turns out he's held captive on a distant planet facing a growing evil power. <laughs> the girl, her genius brother, and a friend from science class find a way to bend time. But the wrinkle is they meet three astral travelers. Where are we? We heard a cry out in the universe. Alive. We believe he is, and we're here to help you find him. Yeah, it's a trippy story. Based on that book that was written in 1962, Chris Pine, you saw their place, the father, star-studded, Reese Witherspoon, uh, Mandy Callen, uh, Kaling play Mindy, the uh, Mindy, right? Mindy, yeah. Mindy, Mindy. Oh, Mandy, yeah. Not, but yeah. Uh, and Zach Galifianakis is in this. Now, here's the problem with the movie: when you got Zach Galifianakis, you think there's going to be some. There's no fun in this. When's the fun happen? There's right? no mm. fun. It takes themselves way too seriously. Oh, no. Yeah. So, Oprah, how would you describe your astral traveler? For me, she was a cross between Maya Angelou, who was a mentor, friend, mother figure for me, and Glinda the Good Witch, who is my favorite all time uh, mythical, magical character from The Wizard of Oz. So, you have a little bit of Glinda. And then you have a lot of Maya. And so you combine the two and put me in the center as the vessel for it, and you get Mrs. Witch. The only thing faster than light is the darkness. I mean, the costuming and the makeup and the. There's it's vis- right. visually a lot to look at, and it does. She mentions Wizard of Oz. It has a little bit of Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland. But again, it takes itself yeah. way too serious. I'm like, lighten up here, people. Your score? Right, it should be a fun movie. Yeah, two out oh. of four stars, mainly because of the visuals and the sure. and a nitpicky thing. Lots of close-ups. If you want to see Oprah's face in intense close-up mm-hmm. on a big screen, this is your movie. I hear she has quite the eyebrows in this movie. She does, and there are fantastic outfits <laughs> that she gets to A couple wear. of movies have become Broadway shows yeah. and all in town. And they're taking the stage right here in town this week. But let me hear your goblet of rock. It's a toast to those who rock. Yeah, Jack Black starred in the 2003 comedy School of Rock. 2015. Yeah, in 2015, some guy named Andrew Lloyd Webber? Never heard of him. He turned it into a musical, a big hit. Now, here's the thing. I saw this on Tuesday. I actually enjoyed the musical more than the movie. Really? I thought it's not possible to make this a musical. And the movie's good. The movie is good. They kind of, uh, they trim the plot to get it moving along. Mm-hmm. They add new songs. Mm-hmm. And the kids actually play the, the instruments. So that's part I of it. I was there on Tuesday as well. The kids were my favorite part. They that, are incredibly talented. Something like 22,000 kids tried out for this. That little 10-year-old with the lead guitar. It was yeah. amazing. All right. Uh, speaking of movies becoming musicals. Now is the time to seize the day. Now is the time to seize the day. Stop the presses! Over at the Chan Hassett Dinner Theater, they're making headlines tonight. You recognize that young Kirk Cameron? Yes. Back in 1992, oh, man. Newsies was a live action musical with an original film, songs by Alan Menken, and the cast included Robert Duvall and Margaret, and is singing Dark Knight. That's right, Christian Bale. Check this out. I ain't getting any younger. And before my dying day, I want space, not just air, 
Let him laugh in my face. I don't care. Yes, so now it's become a musical. 2011, Mencken wrote more songs and turned the movie into a Broadway musical. It won two Tony Awards. The show makes its Chad has a dinner theater debut tonight. I'll be there, the guy with the prime rib. Very nice. You'll be there too. <laughs> I'll right? be there too. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll oh, have cool. to say hi. Yeah, we'll see you. <laughs> All right.